Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Today, we've got a video focused on dimming and dimming settings. Uh, would hope to be a fairly simple topic, but people seem to read a lot into it. Um, it's going to start off, I've got two lights set up, or I did have, and I tested each of them from 20% up to 100% in 20% increments, so five different settings. The Array 2 and a 2x2, two two, it's 125 what light at the manufacturer's recommended hanging height and I used a Mars Hydro TS1000 150 watt light. LED bars are spread a little bit more so they're a bit lower down and um, the panel being a little bit more um, centered in terms of lighting power raised a little bit higher. Very similar results though. reason I've done it is to demonstrate a couple of things. One, there is a in slight increase in efficiency in LEDs as you reduce the power to them. So lower current, they operate a little bit more efficiently, but you also counteracting that LED drivers work less efficiently at um, lower power too, at lower than their rating. So those things kind of work against each other. And there's a common belief that at lower dimmer settings that um, most LED fixtures are a lot more efficient. Well. I'll demonstrate to you today that isn't always the case, or at least not the whole way down the, um, the range. The other thing is to set your adjustment for the different stages of growth. These two lights are designed and specified to deliver around 800 micromoles, 800 par, at their maximum output in a two by two. And that's a very common maximum level these days. However, you will find the sort of CO2 lights and that type of thing, which, which are rated for uh, about a thousand micromoles or above. And you'd have to sort of adjust the dimming settings accordingly to get your average power settings. So in terms of settings then, you start off on the left-hand side, you've got a 20% dimming setting, only 163 power. Very low, will barely, barely sustain growth. You'd only use that for the very, very young seedlings. So after they've just sprouted up to a week or two old. Once you start to see a number of true leaves forming, so a number of separate branches, you know, it would then increase it up to 40% for 343 par uh, for another week or two, but as quickly as possible and get up to that 60% um, and then 80% settings. So by week four or five, you should be up at 80% in veg. Um, with auto flowers even earlier. I'd be up at 100% by week four or five. Plants can take it um, as long as all the conditions are right in terms of a reasonably high level of humidity, so 60-70% and uh, good airflow uh, and temperatures in the 25 to 30 degrees centigrade mark. It's around 80 Fahrenheit, I think. Um, that should be ideal conditions and you should get maximum growth at that stage. And, and maximum growth at every stage is what we want. Now we want to get them getting on and putting on as much mass, doing as much photosynthesis as possible early on. You can see over the course of that, the uniformity is remaining around the same. So the low hanging height is suitable, as I said, for the bar type because it's, it's spread wide. You then would be up to 100% dimming, or 125 watts um, after week four or five. Early, uh, late veg right into flower and you keep it up there. Um, you want maximum growth, uh, the plant putting on maximum mass and getting as big as buds as possible. Uh, you can see as you go up there the efficiency changes from 2.2 or thereabouts at the lower end, that's because the driver is operating pretty inefficiently down there, but it goes up a little bit to 2.33, 2.3, but it's pretty consistent uh, through the range within sort of um, error of uh, measurement. So looking then at the very popular Mars Hydro TS1000, again slightly higher hanging height because of the form of the light, but same area two foot by two foot, 20% uh, dimming, 176 micromoles, and very very low level only for the first week or so. Uh, good straight up to 40% for about 356 micromoles which would be a really good level to get good growth at that early stage. We'll be increasing to 60 and 80% in stages, 
uh, through mid to late veg, so about four to five weeks, and then getting up to 100%, and again up near that 800 micromoles from late veg all the way up to um, through flower. You can see the efficiency again, slightly higher at the lower settings. Again, LEDs operate more efficiently uh, and reducing a little bit as you go up, but nothing too dramatic. Um, if you're having difficulty in dialing in exactly what the dimming uh, setting is, you can use a power meter. So just plug the light into a power meter. They're about $15, 15 euros. Um, I have one here that I use. You can see that it's called U-Think. Uh, very cheap, very effective, and they'll help you with getting um, accuracy on your dimming settings. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, oh, another thing to note, as you go up into the light sizes, you get very similar results whether it's a 400 watt or 600 watt or an 800 watt and a 4x4 or 5x5. Just follow the rec recommended um, manufacturer's hang height. Hopefully they have a power map for the 100% stage. Get the average from that and then just proportion it down for, um, for your dimming settings. You'll be, you know, you'll, you'll be within 5% of, um, of what you're dialing in. And uh, yeah, should be fine. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.